Thank you for joining us. I'm Amy Bumpus, a member of the Benedum and Bumpus group. We are a top 10 Caldwell Banker team, and we're in the top 2% of agents selling nationwide. We love to share our knowledge with you. So if you like this video, please click like down below, lets us know you care, and click the subscribe button to get more videos and helpful information from us. If there's a topic that you'd like more information on, just leave that in the comments down below. Our topic for today is, when is the best time to sell or buy a home? This is a question that we get frequently asked, and it really varies based on your unique needs. Every market is different, and the best time to buy or sell a home really changes from each area and each client. However, in most cases, the spring months are designated to be the best time to buy or sell a home. And primarily, I think the reason for that is choice, because everyone likes choice. In the spring, there's typically more homes for sale, which we call inventory. So there are more homes for buyers to select from. And the same is true for sellers. There are more buyers to look at homes. And when there's more buyers to view your home, there's more demand. And when the demand is high, that means higher selling prices, which everybody loves. We want to see markets continuing to grow and thrive, and the spring is the time of year where we get that, that best bump in purchase price. With all this said, that there's more choice in the spring, the kind of home you're selling may not be as dependent on one of the more primary reasons that people buy and sell in the spring. Selling in the spring is a great time because most families tend to move between school years. So people want to get their home sold in the spring, find their next home, so they can be settled in and move before the coming school year. Well, that said, if you're selling a one-story condo, for example, which is more of a situation someone might be downsizing to, the reasons that someone would need to make a downsize move, that's pretty steady all year long. So depending on the type of home you're selling, you may or may not need to be as concerned about when the most buyers and sellers are prevalent in your marketplace. Another consideration in the spring market is what I like to call people who are just out looky looey They're just trying to get a feel for what's available in certain areas and if it's a good time for them to buy or not. So sometimes it's better to sell or buy a home in late summer, fall, or winter because if you're a seller, the buyers that are out there at that time tend to be a little more serious. They typically have a need in order to move. They're not just feeling the spring weather and kind of getting out there and exploring the market. Um, and if you're selling in late summer, fall, or winter, there may be less inventory, which means you'll have less competition for those buyers that have a true need. The same is true for buyers. If you're a buyer and you're looking in late summer, fall, or winter, there'll be less inventory and less choice for you. There'll also be less buyers to compete with you for those homes so you can have a more successful negotiation. If you're going to be buying or selling real estate in Central Ohio, we would love to be your trusted advisor and guide. Please reach out to us anytime. I'll leave a link to our website down below. Here you can search for homes, you can check the data on various Central Ohio markets, and of course, you can, re you can request a free consultation with us. We'd love to work with you and help you reach your real estate goals. We look forward to meeting you soon.